Okay, but again, I could die. Now, um, for ano for Russell, Russell, uh, okay, perfect yung ano mo yung yung voucher at yung kayong total mo doon sa tawag dito yung 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 balance ng ano natin ng yung balance ng ano ng petty cash. But the problem is. Kapag pinrint ko siya, di ba usually pinprint natin yung voucher o di kaya yung receipt. So, siguro pa hindi ka lang maano, i-ano mo lang siya, what do you call this? Pag print mo siya, i-print setting mo siya, like print. Nakikita mo yung screen ko, Russell, no? Apo, sir. Di ba? Uh, okay. Tama siya, 9.25. And then hopefully, suggest ko lang by next time, uh, i-align mo lang yung date, 5.9. Lang yan. Pero okay, the, the most important for me, alam mo kung ano yung magkaroon natin sa balance sa petty cash. Now, kapag pinrint ko siya, tinan mo yung screen ko, dahil hindi mo siya, hindi mo siya print setting. So kapag lalabas ito sa printer, ito may hindi makita. Wala po, sir. Sir, hindi po lumabas ka. Hindi lumalabas? Hindi. Yung gawa ko po. Okay. Ito, nakikita mo yun, Russell, yung, yung, ano ko, yung ginawa mo? Apo, sir. Dapat ito, kapag maliwa tayo ng bawat, mute po ng microphone. Or, or, pakapag, di ba nakikita mo siya, di ba? Pag pinrint setting mo ito, may nakikita kang adat, ano daw, um, itong, tawag dito. Hidden line. So, kapag pinrint mo siya, hindi buong-buo yung pagkuha natin. So, ang suggest ko lang, the next time, ayusin mo lang yung pag, pag-ano ng setting. Kung hindi mo siya makuha sa portrait, pwede mo naman siya i-landscape. Para pag pinurint mo siya, um, okay naman. Kasi madami pang spaces dun. No? Tapos yung green. So ito siya. Tapos online mo lang kung ilan yung ano. Okay, ah, okay na ikaw, Russell. Nakita mo na yung sayo. Okay po, sir. Thank you po. Ito naman kay uh, Diane. Same, same issue lang yung kay Diane. Ah uh, okay ya tama yung balance mo na dito naman siya lahat. Uh, and ang maging problema ko lang hindi mo siya pinrint setting ng maayos. Nakita mo ba? Oh, tama ito. Nakita mo siya Dayan? Nakita mo 'to? Opo, oh, sir. Kapag pinrint to, hindi ko makikita to sa voucher kasi 'di ba voucher yung pinag-uusapan natin. You have to make the form. So ito, ang makikita ko lang dito ay 615, hindi nakasama yung itong letter E na column. Okay pa? Yan lang siya. Okay. Next time, i ano mo lang ito, tapos ipunta ka sa page layout, print area mo lang, dyan yung na-print area. Pwede mo naman siya i-fit to one page, but okay lang din. Pero, uh, nag-deal tayo sa extra sheet kasi. And Emeline, uh, I'm so glad na kahit wala pa yung ano mo, uh, nagawa mo yung yung assignment mo. But tama din, the problem is, uh, it's a 9.5 score, okay lang din yun. Uh, alam mo na kung ano yung naging problem, no? Yes po, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, yan. So, yan. So, ito lang naman ang problema ko dito. Yan ang problem. Si, ano po, Sir Santimar, wala pa po yung assignment ninyo? Wala pa siya yata dyan. Anyhow, proceed tayo doon sa ating um, start Okay, nakikita po yung screen ko, no? Nakikita po? Yes, sir. So we're going to discuss now our week 7, actually 8 and 9. And it's regarding the presentation and generating report. So yung paano tayo magpapresent na ating, usually kasi tayo nagpapresent tayo ng mga reports sa office. Or, or, hindi man sa office, kung sa iba man, kaya tayo yung presentation, especially mga business-minded <laughs> na kung tawagin. So all you have to do is to do a presentation, a mas magandang presentation. But most of the people na nakaka-encounter ng ganitong klaseng uh, scenario is, hindi sila makapag-build. They, uh, uh, they cannot establish themselves para makapag-build ng 
ng, you know, yung tinatawag natin na confidence in terms of presentation. Minsan nag-chill pa tayo, nag-shake. Kasi nga, uh, hindi tayo masyadong, um, uh, uh, ito, hindi tayo masyadong na ano sa ganong klaseng environment, na evolve sa ganong klaseng environment. But as I told you during our previous discussion, we have a communication, the interpersonal skills and how you possess and how you portray your character in terms of communica communication. Now, in the presentation of the reports, today we have these two topics lang naman. And it's very important kasi magiging uh, party ito ng inyong uh, presentation according to your, to your ano, date na naka-assign. Okay, now the presentation, sinabi ko nga sa inyo, it's really hard to build, you know, with the confidence. Yeah, when you are talking in front of the, a lot of people, tapos kung yun lang iba, nahihiya pa kausap lang yung ibang kaibigan, how much more if you are going to present your report or the presentation to the, to the, to the company or kung sino man sa department ninyo, di ba? So parang um, may mga pag-aaralan tayo ngayon kung paano i-build ang ganito klaseng presentation. Although I do believe na meron kayong confidence in terms of um, public speaking or communicating with other people, di ba? So ngayon, how to start? Sabi nila, di ba? No matter, sabi nila, the most successful and memorable daw na presentation have one thing in common. Ano ba? Bakit tayo nagpe-present? Siyempre, number one, we need to tell the story. That's the main point. Regardless kung mga figure pa yan, data or whatsoever, but you have to relate, you have to convey the story of your presentation. Kung ano man yung nilalaman yan, it's the same common. It's to present the story, to present the data. It's the same. No matter how many facts or charts need to be presented, incorporating stories into presentation will keep your audience focused in intrigue. Kasi kapag nagbigay ka ng story, the facts, the stories, syempre yung nagkakalala interesado yung mga uh, ma-attend or yung audience ninyo. But you have to make sure that the, the idea and the presentation is catching. Hindi yung you know, mayroon tayo tinatawag kasi 10, 20, 30, di ba? Na, na inaantok na just because like boring. But uh, because of this uh, discussion, uh, malalaman nyo kung ano yung mga ibang uh, steps kung paano gawin. Uh, using stories to support data is a well-known technique in all aspects of presentation or even public speaking or kapag nagsasalita sa iyo sa harap ng tao. But from the motivational talks, in a, talks or into a company. So, na doon nagbavary yung ating uh, pagsasalita sa harapan. Now, in this, uh, in this uh, discussion, of course, uh, we are going to discuss the seven ways of structures. I think most of you are aware na rin doon sa ibang structure. And syempre, it's a general, general discussion for all of us. Then, planning your presentation and structure is like a building a Lego. Di ba, alam mo yung Lego, yung laro ng mga bata, di ba, mix siya madami. You have to create an idea kung anong klaseng building o nasing um parang dito structure na pwede yung buuhin so dapat like, kakaroon ka ng ano nagbi-build ka ng ng ano ng isang isang um, magandang presentation kung bahay pa yan animals minsan di ba yung ganyan yung lego iba't ibang color iba't ibang klase ano para mag-build ka so ganito yung sasawa sa presentation di ba yung iba gumagawa pa sila ng parang ang tawag dito yung story board or story telling tapos uh, uh, word by word, uh, page by page by pagalagay, ano yung uh, how, how they begin the story, how they begin the presentation from, from the beginning to the, con to the body and then the conclusion. And then you have to go back again just to, you know, remind them what is the, yung parang mag ka. And then planning your story, it is easier to separate the correct pieces before you start a building. So yun yung tinasabag ko kayo ng Lego. In the beginning, it might seem like this option would take longer, but the opposite is true. Kasi iisipin mo ano ba ang dapat mong gawing magandang presentation para at least, di ba, pag nakita nila yung magandang presentation, di, you are not this, it's, a, it's a rewarding experience para sa lahat ng mga nagpe-present. And the most important kasi dito is kung ano ba yung message, the message of your presentation, the message of your story, the message of your data, ano ba yung gabit na is mong iparating. And a good starting point is to decide whether kung ang yung bang message ay yung may tinatawag na uh, purpose, yung purpose ng presentation mo. Di ba meron tayong tinatawag na usually, 
they called us to, to inform ano mong klaseng nga sa gusto mong iparating to inform the audience ito ba to entertain and of course meron tayong to persuade and to inspire sabi nila let me read you uh, yung, yung about this uh, definition of this uh, purpose of presentation regarding the message. Ano yung gusto mo ipalating? Sabi niya, how will you inform? This may sound like a strange question to ask yourself, but you can convey a message in many different ways. Even your technical presentation on a very special subject can include the following elements. Sabi the number one, the facts and the figure. You have to inform what are the facts, what are the figures that you're trying to convey for this presentation or for this project. Diba? And then, um, with this concept, you are talking on live demonstration of a process system or concept that involves the audience. Kasi, uh, atulad ito, katulad ko, discuss ako, I don't have the audience, but the audience is still virtual. So, nag-discuss ako sa inyo just to inform you what are the presentations all about. Now, the second one is to entertain. This presentation designed to captivate the audience, it's either, di ba, may Ang, ang ginagawa kasing iba, yung may pagka-humor, yung kanilang pag-discuss ng presentation, and then the audience, you know, makakakatch ka ng attention because you are trying to entertain them in a manner that um, yung flow ng presentation mo ay nakakasabay sila at the same time, nag enjoy pa sila. Yun yung uh, the message that you are trying to convey to your audience. And the third one is to persuade. When you say to persuade, you are trying to believe with your story. You are trying to believe them with your presentation. Ano ba ang meron doon sa presentation mo? Diba? Just, just to ano, papaniwalain ka. Diba? May mga ganun bagay na tinagawa. And the other one is to inspire. And you know, to inspire, that means, you know, um, ang message mo baka pag inspire na iba to give your happy ko ano man yung magi-share ka ng story ko ano man yung mga achievements na pwedeng la magawen ba may mga points at may mga uh, part na ang uh, audience di ba uma-attend diyan ng mga presentation just because may mga downside sila na just because of your failures yun yun pero di ba nga dahil nga Ano ka, dahil nga inspirational yung iyong message, and then um, meron kang ano eh, karisma na tinatawag, you are trying to, 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 to let them know na itong story ito is talagang magbibigay ng aral, mag-inspire mag para sa lahat. So that the exactly means of um, the presentation purpose. Yun yung mensahe na nais iparating. There's a lot, there's a lot of... Um, purpose or present, uh, presentation but these are the main um, the main uh, the two main facts in terms of presentation simple number one yung to inform usually yeah, in a business perspective in a business perspective lagi tayong to inform and to persuade kasi yan yung ginagawa lagi sa office but in other way around they have to entertain and to inspire especially mga speakers na mga na umaaten sa mga iba't ibang klaseng forum. And now, there are seven ways of structure in terms of presentation. And sabi nila, of course, um, itong ano, itong seven ways of, uh, uh, seven ways of structure is uh, the kind of brainstorming like a rough drop. No, kapag nakita mo na, nalaman mo na yung Lego nalaman mo na kung ano i-build mo, nalaman mo na kung anong klaseng message ang gusto mong iparating sa iyong presentation, na structure mo na siya. <clears throat> Pero may iba pang way kung paano mo naman siya i-present. Sabi nila, we are, now, um, all the information you have gathered and organized in your Ha, in, a, in your wrap drop, in your, in your, ano, yung ginawa mong structure, kung paano nga. Now, need some attitude to really get your message across. So, sabi nila, we are going to look, we have a seven presentation here, about different style of storytelling structures that work great for presentation. They all have different style of delivery and cadence. I mean, the rhythm, the flow, kung paano mo siya ipipresent. So, choosing one for your presentation. So, we have seven structures. So, mamili kayo kung anong klase doon. But, um, depende kung anong topic, depende kung anong project, and depende rin sa audience na yan. It depends on your message and who your audience. Now, let's now go to 
the I think uh, somebody are aware of this structure, but you know, <laughs> uh, we need to discuss to the others, the right? Sabi nila number one daw na pwede mong gawin is yung fact and stories. So well, at the beginning, dito sa klase sa sa klase ng structure na pag napakita na ito, meron tayo yung ini uh, emphasize na what is and the what uh, what could be. Kapag parang kapag nag present ka, tapos may audience ka. Ano yon at saka ano ba ang meron? Di ba? Parang nagpasan ka. For example, the President Duterte, meron siyang build, build, build project. So ano yon Yun yung build, build project. And what would be? Ano yung meron? So you have to go deep kung ano yung meron doon. Ah, because of that build, build, build project, marami mga pwedeng maita yung uh, tawag dito infrastructure na makapagbibigay na magandang programa at trabaho sa mga mamamayang Pilipino. So that's the very... Uh, factual and story because it's happening it's happening sa Pilipinas and that is reality na nangyayari so yun yung gusto mong i ibigay sa iyong audience the fact and the story now when you are trying to make a paint a picture and you're trying to give you know if you're going to structure the level of your story and you are going to present frame by frame of the story ano yon at ano ang meron and then you are going to deep dive Tapos na yun, uh, kapag nalaman na nila kung ano yun, doon ka na papasok sa ano yun, and then magkakaroon ka na agad ng, ng audience na may interest to continue listening with your presentation. So yun yung tinatawag natin call to action kasi binibigay mo na lahat yung facts. So yun yung ibig sabihin ng tinatawag na fact and story. A presentation with story structure smooths back and forth. So the comparison of presenting the facts as what they are, the present moment the stories that show how things could be improved is what keeps your audience interested and waiting for more. Ano ba? Ano ba bang meron? Ano bang meron? So parang yung mga tao, um, nagkakaroon talaga ng interest. Diba? Hindi ka, yung iba kasi dyan eh, uh, there is a one hour presentation or like two hours presentation. But the, since the, the, yung mga audience mo, they are looking for something new, for something different uh, doon sa mga natin nila. So because of that, what is and the what could be, um, you know, uh, ginamit ni, ni Ms. Nancy Duarte, yung isang presentation guru, ito yung pinaka-main na, na ginagawa niya to catch the attention, of course, to give the story. Okay, naaintindihan po. Let's now proceed to our structure number two, the explanation. May mga ibang classic presentation kasi na ang ginagawa is yung is just trying to explain, just trying to inform, to persuade for them to believe the story, for them to believe the presentation. Now, there's a certain level of, you know, um, kung paano ka makarating sa patutunguhan kasi from the very beginning, uh, ilalay down muna eh. You have to lay down all your cards, Onto the first step, second step, you know, it's like a road map. But that road map, there is a certain level kung paano marating yung point na yung tao uh, represent in an explanation manner but uh, tawag dito, yung mga tao siyempre maniniwala or kapanipaniwala, depende if they have already the background of that story. Depende yon. Now, sabi nila dito kasi is, your presentation structure labeled as explanation is meant to teach new insights and abilities. Now, um, um, main purpose is to inform about the process or plan to either fix a problem or learn something new. You have to lay down all the cards. And dito ako, I have to explain, I have to give you every single detail na, na mga nangyayari about this um, presentation. It's not about that like, you are defending yourself just only to explain what are the structures needed. And a good way to incorporate storytelling into the structure is to show the progression of the facts along with the progression of the story. Now, if you are, if you are going to look on the lay of the land, uh, that means uh, where are we now, where are we going, and then when, what's between here and there. In the part of the lay of the land shows how things stand right now, what the destination and how you plan to get there. So, but start from that very, uh, at that certain point, don't ka magisimula, kasi there's a lot of question marks, and now go to the roadmap. And that roadmap is a visual mapping of how you will get to the final destination. 
and reach the resolution and set the audience on the right track. So ito na, minamap mo na sila eh. Ipinagtungulo mo na sa kanila ito yung right path, the proper way, parang tipong ganon. The route, the exact route on where they are going. And then on the third, the first step begins the adventure to get where you want to go. So on the, the, the first step, yun na yung journey. Di ba na ibigay mo na yung kung ano tanong, na ibigay mo na yung map. So ito na yung first step to go to that journey. So yun yung isa sa mga uh, maganda doon sa presentation na ginagawa in terms of explanation. Kasi uh, you are uh, driving them, uh, yung audience mo, dadali mo na sila doon sa kanilang patutunguhan on that very first steps. Now the next steps is the middle section of the presentation where um, all these steps are laid out one by one. Now, you tinatawag mo frame by frame, structure by structure, na andyan na, nagpapaliwanan ka na. And then, it's not actually the explanation itself. It is the guidelines. Parang yung tinatawag nila na ito yung mga proper procedures, yung mga tipong gano'n. Not only like the, not only the, ano, yung tinatawag natin na, tawag na, Hindi siya yung nagpapaliwanag ka lang na ito dapat gawin. Nagbibigay ka rin kasi ng direction or ng guidelines kung ano yung dapat gawin. Now, and when you are on that one on that level of almost there, you are just about there. Let's take a look back over how far we've come. So, na uh, anlayo muna na eh. Tando na, ando na yung point na pinapaliwanag mo na, binibigay mo na lahat yung mga steps nila at yung mga procedures. Then you have to look back how far you will go. Diba? Titigil ka ba? Siyempre na doon ka, you have to reach until matapos mo yung gusto mong iparating, ipaliwanag or yung pinipresent mo doon sa audience mo. And then sabi nila, almost there is the catharsis. Ibig, ibig sabihin noon is the process of releasing. Ibibigay mo na kung ano yung pinakang uh, result. Diba? Yung explanation. Where you look back at how much has changed and progress since the first step. And now, you were there. You have made it. You had to celebrate. Kasi nandun ka na eh. That's what we call the arrival. And the arrival is what we call the celebration of the end of the journey. Kasi, uh, thanks God, from the very beginning, I have, I have, uh, I have met a lot of uh, struggles. Kung paano ko ba ito maumpisahan? Paano ko may papaliwal? How to convince my audience to ito yung ganito na pinapaliwalan ko, binibigay ko, kung ano yung procedures. And then you were there, you have to celebrate. And the audience itself, yung audience members mo ninyo, ang magbibigay ng pinakang um, reactions, reaction towards your presentation on how you perform well. Diba? On how you explain well with your uh, presentation. And now, the explanation is structure can be used for presentations by consultants that want to teach new ways of doing things inside the company or the department. It could also perfectly fit in a sales meeting, of course, where the presenter can explain their process. Sinabi ko nga sa'yo, kapag yung presentation ka, doon yung mga procedures, policy procedures, yung guidelines, so yun yun. So it's very, very, um, tawag na commentable, uh, yung ganitong klaseng structure ng presentation. Now, let's proceed to the third structure, which is the pitch. Now, in this presentation, this chalk is like a climb hill. You know, meron ka parang um, may mga ups and down because, you know, it's very the, the voice. It's very, of course, the tapos the senses of different senses of your uh, of your uh, presentation. The storytelling is also used to show how the presenter's idea can really improve a situation. Yun yung Nagkakaroon siya parang, ano may, may mga pitch. Pero may mga bell curve na tinatawag. Mga tipong gano'n. As you know, pitch is in the business sense is when the presenter uses the power of the presentation. The power of presentation. Or a speech to convince the audience of something he or she believes will improve the system or solve the problem accord. So, ibig sabihin, in this kind of level, in this kind of level, ito yung part na kapag nagpapresent ka, because of the power of your pitch, may mga tao talaga na ah, ah napapaniwala agad or ah, naniniwala doon sa sinasabi mo. It's like ah, siguro ah, aware din kayo sa mga multi-level marketing, the way they presented, the way yung gaano sila ginagamit nila yung karisma. 
ginagamit nila yung kanilang aura, ginagamit nila yung peace, yung voice, the power of voice, the power of voices nila talagang ginagamit nila for them to believe na ito, ito para to believe ito, maganda to pag ginamit mo, maganda ka, puputi ka. Pero ang sabi nila, ang ganda pala at ang puti is tiwala lang. So yung mga tipong ganun, di ba? Now, the pitch presentation structures is like a climbing up. On the part of the wind up, you have to start a quick summary of where you are today. Sabihin yan, um, to present the facts in what, in a way that easy to grasp and relatable to the audience. Diba parang kukuha ka agad ng, ano ba yung pinakang sometimes kasi nagkumukuha ka lang ano yung weakness ng isang, ano, ng isang audience para doon mo agad sila titirahin. Then, oh, okay, perfect. Ang galing-galing. Tipong ganyan, di ba? So, paano itong ginagawa ko sa inyo? <laughs> na, nag-present ako sa inyo for you to believe what are the structures of presentations. Now, medyo sanay tayo sa presentation kaya, di ba, binibigay ko rin sa inyo. Now, to Hardell. Sabi na, to Hardell. A, yung pag sinabi kasi ng Hardell, alam niyo yung sa race, yung, yung, yung running, tapos sa, sa pag tumatakbo ka, Meron na may mga barriers na jump ka tapos takbo ka ulit, jump ka ulit. Yun yung tinatawag na may mga barriers, may mga fence. So you on you have to uh, to the fence up. Ang galing mo yun. So ngayon, pupunta ka ngayon doon sa problem or how to face the problem. Kasi there are different level na ano yan eh, ng struggles. So ngayon, harapin mo kung ano yung yun ay yung problema. And then you are trying to solve it. Relate the problem with the story so that it emphasizes double. So, Kapag meron mga struggles, mga difficulties, harapin mo yun, tingnan mo kung ano ang meron doon, then try to remove all of this um, uh, hard na ito, tinatawag na ito. You have to fence up. Tanggalin mo yung mga nakaharang, yung mga nabalakit na ganyan. As you can see, there's a triangle, pero dito yung part na ganyan eh. Hindi ka makadiretso on that to hook that uh, to the end. And then, may tawag tayong vision that presents a glimpse into the main idea on how the problem can be solved. So, di ba, you have to think. Di ba, meron tayo, you need to be smart, you need to be smart in a way that you know how to handle it, you know how to resolve it. Kasi, uh, meron kang, ano, meron kang right idea that you have to share. Yun yun. Uh, yung klase ng presentation na yan, uh, kapag binigay mo yung, yung yung excited is isa't a problem and you know how to go with it. Alam mo kung paano ka lalabas. And then the options, the present two ways to reach the vision, the boring and the one and the inspiring one. As I told you, it depends. Meron ka dapat na ay catching or to catch the attention of your audience kasi uh, makatulog ang kanila. Yun yan. Then, we have also the close. It's the point where the ideal option is presented as the best and only option. So, dito na pumapasok yung, when you are presenting the story, uh, you are able to believe, you are able to uh, close that kind of presentation in a way na marami silang natutunan. Yun, yun. Uh, ang isa part ng, ng the close. Kung paano mo siya close na lahat ay uuwi, na masaya, nakangiti do sa presentation mo. And then, the moment that he um, left that room or, or from that door, then may stuck sa mind nila, ah, ang ganda ng presentation, ang ganda ng mga sinabi. So parang, tapos, there are times na babalikan ka, na there are times na natawagan na nagustuhan yung... So, kasi nagbigay ka ng magandang closure sa kanila, di ba? Hindi siya katulad ng ibang relationship na walang closure at meron din closure. So parang ganun. You have to inspire your audience. And of course, ito yung tinatawag natin na, ah, tawag nito, the fine, the fine point. So, yun yun. Um, the, tells the audience exactly how the problem will solve the steps that need to be taken and the task to resolve. Yun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na kapag umalis nga siya doon sa, sa ano, sa, present, sa room na nag-present ka, so alam nila kung ano na yan, yung naging problema at kung uh, paano nila papasukin, kung paano mag-resolve. That means nakapag-inspire nakapag ka na, na, na tulungan mo silang ma-resolve pa yung problema. So that kind of presentation is all about with the pitch. And yun nga, use the pitch presentation structure when you want to convince someone, when you want to convince someone, 
that your idea is the best for their problem. So parang, ang ganda parang ng presentation ng the pitch, di ba? So uh, yung way ng problem solving, na kapag may problema isang tao, matandang isang seminar or isang presentation, nakinig sa'yo using the kinds of pitch, pitch structure, oh my God, paglabas nila eh, nakatulong ka na, na-resolve mo pa ang kanilang problema. That's nice. And let's go back to our number four, the drama. Sino dito ang mga chatter actor and chatter actress? Yung mahini mag drama. You're such an actor. Diba? Pwede yung wait lang. Importante ba ito? Hindi naman siya importante. Mamaya ko siya kakausagutin. And ito yung tinatawang drama. That this type of presentation is based on a classic story. Like the hero's journey. Kasi may sinabi dito na... They, there is a well-known structural literature called The Hero's Journey. Actually, I'm not aware of The Hero's Journey, but the title itself, so di ba parang The Hero's Journey, siguro from nung nakipag, nakipag, ano siya, nakipagbaka-baka, nakipaglaban, hanggang maging tagumpay. Kasi you cannot call a people a hero kung di siya tagumpay, kung di siya naging ano, successful. And then yung journey, yung kanya pinagdaanan. And this is what we are going to talk about. The drama is structured. Now, which, itong klase kasi nitong story is from the beginning of a story up to the end leaves the reader feeling like they learned lesson they will never forget. It seems like, um, you know, we have the pitch, yung problem, problem solving, but at this juncture, or using the drama structure, it's like a lesson they have learned that they will never forget. Siguro marami sa atin nakinig na kinig na sa iba't yung presentation and then up to tapos nag-stuck sa mind nila and they they are following up to this day up to this up to now and then i-stuck sa mind nila kasi meron silang mga lesson learned at una at hindi makalimutan yun and at the same time ina-apply nila ngayon sa kanilang daily lives so ina-apply nila yun kung paano sila hindi ulit pagkamali although lagi tayo nagkakamali tapos pag na-apply nila yun yun yung naging part naging successful sila kasi they have they um they have ano they have learned their lesson and sabi nila di ba ko pag gumagawa ka ng drama is another perfect presentation is the drama structure is an inspiring personal story like uh for example ako umattend ako na isang ano I have to present I have a kaya ako inibitahan to present the to present and the particular um you know uh, audience kasi meron sa akin story na pwede ko i-share that really inspires. So, yun yung uh, kung bakit ako nagsalita sa kakarapan. Sabi nila, di ba, there are steps, there are steps of, of drama style presentation structure. Yung sabi nila is one fine day. This, uh, the introduction sets the stage of the situation where things are not perfect but just an average. Then, imagine as it were the first page of a book where the setting is laid out and the audience gets an idea of time and place. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung part na uh, hindi mo paalam ko ano yung situation. Siyempre, mag-insert ka pa lang. You have to build yung doon ka pa lang sisimula kung paano mo siya sisimulan yung yung presentation kung paano mo ibibigay yung isang story. Diba? So, doon yung uh, uh, parang panin, panimula mo or the beginning on how you present. And then, pumunta tayo sa challenge. If you can see the 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 screen. Ah, uh, diretso ka sa pagpresent, tatatayan, pinipaliwanag mo na, pinapakita mo na sa kanila. And then there's a the challenge and then the happiness. And then when you see the curve, mention the worst with a lie, they're waiting the end, all hope is lost. So ibig sabihin yan, um may gusto kang iparating pero batat so perfect na uh, tawag dito parang mayroon ka pang preservation, may preserve, uh, may mayroon ka pang reservation, sorry, reservation sa sarili mo na parang hayaan mong ibigay lahat just because of drama type, ibinibigay, pinapatch up mo siya na ibang, uh, ibang story kasi mayroon ka pang reservation. Mali mo, yung pinakamapait na story mo pala o lang iyong presentation doon eh, hindi pwedeng lahat makaalam kasi hindi mo naman din alam yung mga audience mo ay makakaunawa sa iyong nakaraan. Tama? Kasi hindi mo pwedeng ibigay lahat. Di ba? Mandatory reservation. So, kayo, from that day, pwede ka mag-patch up. So, that's why they called it drama. Di ba? Drama lang yan. Pero hindi mo alam, part of it, your presentation is true and a part of it is 
just to cope up na hindi ka ma-embarrass kasi hindi mo alam eh. Pagkatapos ng presentation, oh, ganyan pala. Hindi mo alam yung nasa isip ng tao. Although meron tayong uh, inspiration na, na matutunan at saka hindi mo makalimutan yung, le- yung, le- yung learn, lesson learned na, na nakita mo doon. Pero hindi mo pa alam yung mga tao na kinig sa'yo. Baka mamaya kinukutsa ka pala. So that part, yun need, ano, maging magdala yung white line. Yung mga tipong ganun. Hindi tayo dapat nagsabi lahat lahat. Katulad ko, yung mga stories ako na pwede kong sabihin sa inyo, but meron tayong mga limitation kung hanggang saan lang yung pwede kong sabihin, di ba? So yun, I will make drama in a sort of, um, for the sake of conversation, for the sake of presentation, but not at all. Siyempre, sabi ko nga, I have the reservation. Okay, and then on that part, on the return part, you'll come away with a new gift that will never forget. Yun na yun. So, nakapresent ka na, sinabi mo na lahat, oh, naniwala siya, ang galing-galing, tapos ganito ganyan, ito yung nangyari sa akin, sanabi niya, nagalito ako, yun naman pala, hindi naman pala, pero pinalitan mo na ibang story, hanggang sa napaniwala mo ta, okay, and then natutunan nila kung paano yun. Alam mo, marami tayong mga drama sa buhay, pero depende on how to handle it. Diba? Sino dito ang mga best ano, actor and best actress? Marami dito, alam ko sa atin na nakikinig, mga estudyante. Kasi nga, since na <clears throat> may reservation, hindi mo pwedeng sabihin lahat. And let's discuss the structure number five. Ito yung tinatawag na situation and the complication resolution. As you can see in the screen, situation, but, but, and of course, the complication, therefore the resolution. Um, alam mo maganda yung part na ito kasi from the starting point of the situation where the current the current conditions are shown in an unbiased and transparent way the situation connects to the next step through the word but diba? um, example simple example is uh, for example yung um, Halimbawa, sa isang lugar, uh, sa isang room, ah, napakaganda naman ng, ng, ng decor ng company, nakakapagbenta sila ng, yung isang company, nakapagbenta ng napakaraming sales. But, may isa siyang but, di ba, ang ganda ng situation, karagi siyang, mayroon siyang complication na tinatawag, yun yung the challenge stage na, na ginagamit natin sa pagpe-present kasi um, ang part na ito, uh, ibibigay mo sa kanila yung, 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 yung conflict ng nung, nung situation and then bago ka magkaroon ng resolution. Kasi, for example, um, yung isang home decor company is selling a pretty well, pretty well this month, but we have been spending too much in an international city. Ibig sabihin, marami kang nabenta, marami kang uh, naging sale, marami kang na, ano, sa kumpanya, but pero ang dami mong nangyaya gastos. Di ba, sales against the expenses. So, parang konti lang yung profit konti lang yung naging benefits natin. So, yung, yung sinasabi naman dito sa presentation na ito, ang ganda ng presentation na binigay mo siya, ganyan, ganyan. Pero ito yung, ito yung ano, yung, tawag dito, uh, dun sa thesis ko. <laughs> May tinatawag ko ka thesis dito na ano eh, yung pinirisend ko siya, tapos yung isang part, tapos uh, pinirisend ko yung, yung mga conflict na per sa isang system, tapos ito kasi kailangan maprotektahan yung system dahil nga ang kailangan ng ganit, ma, ma, magandang, magandang software na gamitin. So yun, kapag hindi, masisira yung system. So yun, um, yung resolution sa part na yun na, na dapat kong gawin, yung mga challenges na kailangan i-present. Ngayon, kung naandong ka na dun sa bat na yun, yung sa complication, dapat meron ka sa taong na therefore. Because, you know, when presenting the complication, use the facts to prove it. Diba? Ito maganda, tapos bumagsak, ito. When you use the fact to prove it, it present at is the challenge that needs to overcome. So alam mo kung ano yung resolution na pwede mong uh, gawin o uh, i-present doon. Kasi nga, syempre sa isang, for example, sa sales, sa marketing, kapag present ka na magandang sales, tapos ito yung mga challenges, pero meron ka na agad na resolution na ginagawa, di ba? Meron ka agad na way kung paano may overcome. Yun yung mga challenges. Yun tinatawag natin na um, SWAT, yung strength, weakness, opportunity, and threats. Sino po aware doon? 
So, yun yung ginagamit usually. So, what are the opportunities? What, how we can solve? What are the threats? Diba? So, kailangan alam mo agad the solution na yun. Nabalang talayo ako ng isang coffee shop. Tapos sa coffee shop na yun, eh, ang dami-dami kong kalaban. Yun ang mga threats sa akin. So, for me to be able to to establish and to get more audience, to get more um, uh, sales and customers, magkakaroon ako siyempre ng solution. Ah, gandahan ko yung product ko. Magkakaroon ako ng mga promo, mga ganit ng offer. So, yun yung mga ibang tinatawag na mga resolutions or on how to solve, on how to overcome that threats. Hindi po ba? Now, uh, yung mga tinatawag natin na mga descending crisis, yung nasa rock bottom, how to discover the, yun yung mga part na, na complication. So, ngayon, dapat alam mo ngayon gumawa ng resolution. Kasi kapag hindi mo siya gawa ng resolution, babagsak, at hindi magiging maganda ang presentation mo, why you are presenting here? Just to inform us na nalugi ang kumpanya. Just to inform us na pangit ang performance ng department ko. Just to inform us na hindi maganda ang pinapakasang performance review. So what are the resolutions? Para ma to uplift. To uplift at gumanda yung performances. Diba? You have to find ways to overcome those uh, performances na major failure. So yan yung tinatawag natin na deep structure ng situation complication and resolution. <laughs> And the resolution is connected to the complication with the word therefore, and that is giving that um, giving the positive result, the good result. Okay. Let's now proceed to our situation. Uh, the number six structure ng presentation. As you can see, situation opportunity and resolution. A uh, similar structure to the one above is the situation opportunity that places to the complication and the opportunity. These three part structures also join by the words but and therefore. They want to discuss kasi inyo kanina. Meron tayo mga tinatawag na strength, weaknesses, opportunity, and the threats. Diba kung paano mo na naman siya gagawa ng resolution? The same thing. The same thing. Now, the difference, ang pagkakaiba nito, instead of of the movement going down and up, but this kind of uh, structure, it seems like a leveling. No, it goes slightly up and then the level levels out. So, ibig sabihin, kanina kasi matindi yung, matindi yung parang uh, problem or complication or yung mga, mga, mga struggles, so gumawa ka ng resolution na overcome mo siya. But this one, hindi naman siya ganun ka maka, uh, heavy, it's really minor, it's really slight lang naman, and the presentation that follows structure could turn out to be quite short. And if only the facts are presented, but that would leave the audience feeling like, is that it? Parang, di ba, yun lang ba yun? So, hindi dapat ganun. Dapat you have to, uh, uh, you have to give the best way, the best way on finding the resolutions. And, wait. And sabi pa nila dito, uh, yung daw uh, tinatawag na ito, uh, skip the, you, will, you are going to give also your or some personal stories pag gumagawa ka ng ganitong classic structure. Because um, yung, yung situation mo, tapos yung paano ka naging, yung opportunity, yung, yung alternative path of, uh, tawag dito, yung, yung pinakang hopeful light, yung bibigyan mo sila ng, ng, ng hope na paano ma, ma, maging, ma, ma prosper and then at you uh, come to the level na kung paano mo ipinapost yung 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 uh, presentation na naging maayos so all you have to do give some stories again give some uh, facts and uh, stories on how you present your uh, report or your presentation and we have also the, the uh, number 7 which is the last uh, structure and this is what we call the hook this person the hook meet and pay off these presentation structures like the drama is deeply founded in the art of storytelling now may pagkadrama din siya of course di ba parang uh, you engage for something and um, uh, the, the the presentation of this is uh, the ideal of the presentation of the hope is the presenter gives the audience a sense of place and time. Tapos plus the situation that will put them together and at the ends of their seats, one thing more. So ang sabi niya ay, yung, yung sa part ng, ng hope, wait, ang sabi ng sa part ng hope is, 
uh, yung yung kung saan yung yung the, the time and the place plus the situation kung magbe present ka ng isang uh, story or isang presentation ibigay mo yung pinakang rhetorical question which is yung concern ka na i-present sa kanila ito ang nangyari ito yung ito yung um, ito yung situation na nangyari tapos ito yung kung paano nangyari ito yung araw ito yung so kung parang binibigay mo sa kanila yung um, the details yung detalye na kung paano yung yung sitwasyon na ginawa mo dahil you have to give uh, the audience a sense of what's coming and have them learning forward in their seats. So parang ibinibigay mo yung buong detalye na ito, 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 ganyan, ito, ganyan. So binibigay mo sa kanila yon. And then siguro makakapag, makakaano din sila, makakarelate din sila sa iyong story. And then the moment na binibigay mo yung situation na yon, and then they're trying to understand your story. Doon na pumapasok yung meat. Yung tinatawag nilang meat is the middle section and usually the longest part of the presentation where the story progresses and all the information is related in an interesting and inviting way. So, kapag the moment na nabibigyan uh, na sa pinakang uh, climax or yung yung story mo na andun na. So, yung tao uh, naghihintay paano paano pa yung uh, ano pa yung susunod, ano pa yung nangyari. So, yun, yun yung hinihintay nila sa sa'yo. Yun yung pinakang part, ng, yung meat part. Yun, doon na pumapasok yung, um, yung yung listahan or the timeline of, of, the, of the story. Uh, kung ano lahat-lahat siya. Kung parang, di ba sa sandwich, naroon tayo yung top at saka yung, ball, yung sa ilalim. Tapos yung sa gitna, andun yung kalaman, andun yung pati, andun yung, andun yung pati, andun yung mga iba't ibang klaseng sidings ng isang hamburger. So yung sa middle part noon, doon mo na makikita, oh, andun na yung pinakang masarap na, yun, na part. So doon mo na mayalaman lahat kung ano yung story, what's the body of the stories. And now it's the payoff. Yung sinasabi na, the payoff is the inspiring conclusion that circles back to the beginning and leaves the object feel inspired. So, nung nag-deliver ka ng, ng story, nag-deliver, nag-present ka ng, ng presentation, you have to go back and then, ah, ganun, ganun, pala, ganun pala nangyari. Para man tayo tinatawag na flashback na, na mga stories. Ah, ito pala yun, ito pala yan. And it, that's what we call the call to action, di ba? Kasi, uh, yung mga tao, uh, natu- may natutunan din, katulad ng bisikas natin ka rin, may natutunan din sila from your story kasi nga, um, marami, it pay off kasi nga, dahil nga sa pinigay mong presentation or story sa kanila, meron silang na natutunan. And then, na-apply po nila yun sa kanilang, uh, siguro sa kanilang pang araw-araw na buhay. And, um, these are the seven structures na Na, mamili kayo kung anong klaseng presentation na gusto nyong i-portray in terms of pag-represent ng isang um, data or report or whatsoever. But in a business perspective, as I told you, in a business perspective, you have to do with it to inform and to persuade. Not all applicable, but this, um, ito lang naman po yung klase ng kung paano ka nagpipresent sa audience. It's an idea and then uh, um, uh, a structure kung paano mo siya gagawin. Okay, let's now proceed to the uh, paggawa ng isang uh, presentation. ba yung iba nga dyan, yung gumagawa ng mga shooting or yung mga video, gumagawa pa sila ng clipboard, gumagawa pa sila ng mga storyboard na uh, pinipresent nila. Kasi alam mo kung bakit, ba way back, balikan natin yung diniscuss ko for the very beginning na para siyang Lego, na kumakalat yung Lego, yung Lego, yung laruan. Hindi mo alam kung anong gagawin mo. So because of that storyboard, gagawa ka ng outline tapos sa outline na yun i-structure mo kung ano yung first thing mong to do, ano yung pangalawa, ano yung susunod, pangatlo. Kung parang organize hanggang matapos to the final conclusion of your story, of your presentation, naka-align siya, naka-align siya. Hindi ka maliligaw, hindi ka malilito kung ano yung susunod. Well prepared, well presented and of course, may tinatawag tayong drama effect may tinatawag tayo yung script where um, kasi the moment na meron kang storyboard pag nilabas pa lang katulad nito 
pinapakita ko sa inyo sa screen ko sa inyo. The moment na lumabas yung isang picture na pinipresent ko sa inyo, alam ko na agad kung ano yung sasabihin ko. Kasi na-rehearse ko na yung iba, na sa napag-aralan ko na yung iba, although hindi siya ganun ka-perfect, but the idea, the thought that matters, is yung maibigay ko sa inyo yung some of the points na pwede natin matutunan. Now, now that you already look, now that you already saw the seven structures and that you can now structure your presentation with the storytelling techniques, ito na yung storyboard, storytelling, and it's time to make a storyboard. The storyboard, you know, sa mga filmmakers na sinasabi ko sa inyo, gumagawa talaga sila ng ganyan. And now the presenter used this process of storyboarding to set up their presentation because it really helps. Makakatulong kayo sa inyo ito with regards your productivity, yung productivity na tinatawag. And the storyboard is essentially a visual draft. For example niyan, malapit lang inyong presentation. Actually, sabi ko nga sa inyo, uh, ako na magbibigay sa inyo nung slide, gagawa nyo na lang yun ng, ng, ano, ng story, uh, gagawa nyo na lang siya ng mga discussion doon. But if you want to do your own storyboard, to do your own presentation, it is up to you. Kasi nga, uh, kailangan mo mag-draft para hindi ka malito. Para, hindi naman tayo lahat public speaker, hindi naman tayo conversationalist, hindi naman tayo communicator, na ganun ka perfect magsalita. Even kahit sa virtual lang, ma nahihiya pa rin tayo, nagsishake pa rin tayo, nag-rattle yung bosses natin, di ba minsan? Ako ganyan ako minsan, di ba? Lalo pa pag di ako nakakain o wala akong sugar sa katawan, nag-aratin na ako kung nagpapresent. Tapos representan mo mga executive level or mga tao na hindi mo kilala. Tapos representan mo, di ba? Tapos hindi mo alam kung ano yung impression nila. Hmm, yung presenter naman hindi magaling, walang alam. Mga tipong ganun. So, negative impact. Now, um, itong storyboard na tinatawag is All you have to do is you have to add a story aspect to your presentation. Mayroon na akong ginawang uh, presentation sa PowerPoint. Uh, tapos, make sure you don't forget too wordy yung mga masyadong masyadong. Tapos, depende nga po yan sa inyo ipipresent. And the best way to make a story board is uh, with your... Mayroon ka parang isang paper or index card na doon lahat naka-slide or slide. Bago mo gawin doon sa presentation sa PowerPoint, gawa ka muna sa isang papel. Drop, drop ka muna, sulat ito yung first line ko, e eh, ganito. Uh, paano ko ba sisimulan? Ano ba yung catching words? What are the story? What are the title of the project that catch the audience? Yung mga tipong ganun ang gagawin natin. And syempre, and um, may ito yung tinatawag na yung sample outline sa paggawa ng storyboard or ng presentation ninyo ngayong darating na November. Uh, ito lang sample. For example, uh, sa first line, anong title, anong agenda, ano yung review, ano yung mga target, anong results, what are the conclusions, the acknowledgement, table of contents, goals, and then what is your purpose, what are the structures, the bullet points that you have to do, And um, ano yung mga pictures or slideshows that I'm going to use during my presentation? You have to think of it. The better to do is trap. Mag-trap ka, wrap, trap. Yun, importante yun. Hindi, didiretso ka agad sa PowerPoint. Ando lang, ta -ta 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 -ta. Tapos, mag-iisip ka lang, mali ito. No. First, know the title. What is the objective of your title? What are the abstract? What are the, the purpose, the description? And then, and how you to discuss your presentation. Do I need to make drama? Do I need to make pitch? Do I need to make um, the facts or the stories that I'm going to do? What are the characteristics do I need to portray? Yung mga tipong ganun klaseng um, characteristic para at least, oh, okay, uh, hindi man siya ganun uh, kaganda yung kanyang pinigay na presentation, but the way he presented is like a ball. Tipong approachable, parang Uh, yung charisma, the aura, yung tinatawag na gano'n. For you to be able to believe, you use your charisma, di ba? Ang pangit naman ang presentation. But you use your, ano, yung positive aura, di ba? Where, meron namang ibang klase na hindi naman makarisma, hindi maganda magsalita. Pero yung, yung title, wherein the, the content, the content of your presentation is impactful. My God, napakagandang uh, maging isang halimbawa din yun. But, mas maganda, 
kung may charisma ka na, may aura ka pa, you know how to speak well, you know how to present. And then the content of your presentation is really uh, admiring, inspiring. My God, talagang napaka-perfect. Siguro ano, um, pwede na kayo magturo. <laughs> you need to present to some other people, especially different audiences. Okay? Now, let's go back to our, how can you make a good presentation even more effective? Ayan. Sabi na lang dito, may sampung klase daw tayo ng ganitong klaseng presentation na mas maging epektibo. Okay, ready na ba kayo mapakinggan kung ano yun? Ang sabi nila is, show your passion and connect with your audience. Di ba? Tagang may eagerness ka. Katulad dito ngayon, represent ko ka sa inyo. I'm showing my passion because I want you to learn. I want to share my knowledge and skills in terms of presentation. Siguro, hindi man ganun ako ka-perfect pagbigyan ng presentation and getting some ideas from different, uh, from different, ano, atawag dito, uh, resources, pag-search pag ko sa different kind of books, pagbabasa ko ng iba't ibang klaseng, ano, so, at least, di ba, I want to share with you. Now, sabi nila dito, it's hard to be relaxed and be yourself when you are nervous. Nag-chill ka. Parang, oh my God, what happened? Parang ganito. Naandun ka, alam mo yung sabihin mo. Pero pag naharap mo na yung mga tao, my God, nanginginig ka, nag-shake ka. So, yun yun. So, you have to be relaxed. Establish yourself. Look at the audience first. Establish yourself. Relax. Take a deep breath. And then, show your passion that this is me. I am, ano, ano ko, sabi dito, ako ang bida ngayon. Ako ang bida, papanoodin ako ng mga tao. And then, if they are, if they if I inspire them and, and I give them the proper presentation, I disturb their club, you know, the applause. Di ba, palakpakan ako nila. Di ba, it's a rewarding experience na magkaroon ng ganitong passing passion. And now, but the time and again, the great presenter says that the most important thing is to connect with your audience and the best way to do is to let your passion for the subject that shine through. Di ba? So, nakapag-establish ka na ng sarili mo, then you have to go, 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 go. Yung dire-diretso ka na dyan, mag-present ka na. Di ba kasi ginawa mo ito eh, pinagpaguran mo ito na isang linggo, isang taon, isang buwan, whatsoever. And then, during that time na ipipresent mo, hindi ka ganun ka-eager. So, it's... Wala. So, kailangan, ano, confident, confidence, kailangan natin ng confidence sa sarili natin. You have to establish, take note, you have to establish yourself. Alalahanin ninyo, it is your, it's your time to shine. Diba? And be honest with the audience about what is important to you and what it matters. Ano ba importante sa'yo? Kailangan ko may present to kasi magkakaroon ako ng certificate of completion sa office administration. Kailangan ko i-present itong presentation nito sa audience kasi kailangan ko makompleto, kailangan ko magkaroon ng ano, uh, magandang future. Pwede ko magamit ito as supporting documents for my future endeavors, di ba? Yun yung mga tipong mga ano ba dapat. And then, why it matters? Bakit kailangan? Bakit nag-matter ito? It really matters. It really matters not because of the completion of your certificate. It really matters to yourself. Kasi, ikaw mismo yan eh. My God, nagawa ko to, na-present ko to, ang ganda-ganda -ganda presentation ko. Is, kapag achieve ka sa sarili mo ng ganong klaseng uh, uh, ano, achievement. Di ba? Let's now proceed to our number two. Focus on your audience needs. Ano ba ang kailangan ng audience ko? Ba't ko present? Ano ba ang kailangan nila? Using different structures, the seven structures. Ano ba? Ah, uh, Uh, informative ba ito? Uh, kailangan ko ba i-persuade? So, you have to give, you have to focus on your audience needs. Your presentation needs to build around what your audience is going to get out of the presentation. As you prepare the presentation, you always need to, he to bear in mind what the audience needs and what wants to know. Ano ba ang dapat nilang malaman? Ano ang kailangan nilang malaman? Di ba? Baka boring naman yan. Hindi, aalis na. May yan, aalis na lang dyan. Tatayo, magpapaalam. There's a lot of excuses. Aalis po, may tinawagan, may pupuntahan. Pero as a matter of fact, hindi sila interesado sa ipipresent mo. Okay? Hindi ganun. Di ba? While you're giving the presentation, you also need to remain focused into your audience response and react to that. Kasi nga, Diba, makikita mo yung mga tao na boring na kikinig sa'yo. Katulad ko, baka may natutulog na sa akin ngayon. May natutulog ba ngayon? Hello? Wala po. Hello.
Salamat, wala na tutulog. Now, di ba, if they are ano, trying to you know, tutulog sila, ganyan-ganyan, kasi nga, it's really boring, and di ko nagustuhan yung presentation. Wala akong, hindi siya, hindi siya ka, ka, ano, walang gana, di ba? Then, at tatakita mo, medyo boring na, you have to catch the attention of the audience, di ba? Na may present ka, then, kakatch your attention, o, oh, tanong ka sa kanya. Ah, so, naintindihan po ba? Ano po ang kailangan? Ano po ang, ano natin? You have to focus the audience need. Kasi baka mamaya, boring na, Palta mo ng drama, palta mo ng en- i-entertain mo, magbigay ka ng konting humor, para at least magising, magising yung buong room na nakikinig, di ba? Nasabihin nila doon na, ah, ang ganda-ganda naman ng presentation, magising sila. And let's proceed to stru- uh, number three. Sabi nila, keep it simple, concentrate on your core message. What is the core message? The center of your message. Yung pinaka-focal point of ano, kung ano yung gusto mong iparating sa kanila, di ba? So, when planning your presentation, you should always keep in mind some questions. Kasi mamaya, uh, katulad ko, ipapresent ako sa inyo, mag a ko ng question, or might be, uh, they for them to clearly understood your presentation itself, the content of your presentation, they will ask you something. So, you need to be prepared. So, I need to be prepared also, di ba? I need to go to the deep, of my presentation. Baka mamaya eh, mas magaling pa para sa akin yung nakikinig. Di ba mamaya? Uh, it, it's not, uh, meron kasi yung parang embarrassing moment na nagtanong yung estudyante mo tapos wala ka na isagot. That means, you really don't know what is your presentation is all about. Hindi ka, you are lack of knowledge, lack of productivity. So parang ganun. So from the time na mag-represent ka, you need to be ready at all times. Kasi you don't, you really don't know who are your audience. Hindi mo sila kilala. Baka mamaya, may nakikinig lang dyan, tapos they will magbabat in sila na, na eh, para lang magtanong, pero alam na pala nila yung sagot. So they are trying to say na parang sinusubukan ka. Yung mga tipong ganun. Now, let's go back to the smile and make an eye contact with your audience. Ano ba tayo? Ako nakikipag-eye contact ako sa screen. I don't know if you are looking at me. I don't know if you are listening to me. But the most important for me is I relate to you kung ano yung aking, um, kung ano yung aking job ngayon bilang isang instructor ninyo. Now, smile and make an eye contact with your audience. This sounds very easy. But surprisingly, a large number of presenters fail to do it. Bakit? Kung ikaw ay nasa isang symposium na pakalaking gym na nagpe-present, or, di ba? Tapos ngayon, hindi mo, hindi ka makip- pwede makipag-eye contact dyan kasi may mga naka-spotlight ka lang, madilim yung audience, so hindi mo nakikita. But in a room, if you are going to present in a room, especially doon sa, sa work ninyo, syempre mayroon tayong mga functions room. So you have to take, bakit mo kailangan makipag-eye contact? Para malaman nila na nakakasabay sila sa presentation mo. Para malaman nila na ito yung gusto mong iparating. At para malaman nila na ang presentation mo ay importante, kailangan nila makinig. So you have to give an eye contact, deal with them. That means you have an empathy. Ikaw, siya, siya ay ikaw. So something like that. So para at least, alam niya na, um, na binibigyan mo ng importansya. Binibigyan ninyo ang importansya isa't isa yung mga pinapaliwanag mo during your presentation. And of course, if you smile and make an eye contact, that means you are building a rapport. Di ba? Kumagawa ka ng, ng, ng rapport para to cast the attention, binibigay mo sa kanila, eye to eye contact talaga na ano, na, na pagbe-present. So, yun yung makakakas talaga ng magandang audience. And, which help the audience to connect with you and your subject. It also helps you feel less nervous kasi nakipag-usap ka sa kanya because you are talking to individuals not a great mass of unknown people. So, ibig sabihin, yung mayroon tayo tinatawag na empathy. And, yung ano ko lang po, sino yung mga, mayroon tayong commercial. Okay, let's now proceed to our number five. Start strongly. At the beginning of your presentation is crucial. Hindi mo alam kung ano yung, yung magiging reaction. Now, you need to grab your audience's attention and hold it. Hold to it. Cling to it. Ibig sabihin niyan, 
paghawakan mo that, that you are when you the moment you start your the moment you start your representation you um tagang tawag dito you have the credibility yung yung posture the way you present is uh, kailangan um ma uh, tawag dito maging strong ka you have the courage you have the, the self confidence to present your presentation kasi yun di ba kailangan kailangan mo ito sa inyong audience this is for them to believe your your presentation they will give you a few minutes grace in which to entertain them kasi guro um para mas maging kaaya-aya yung presentation mo ano ba talaga pag well, let's take a look let's take a look well, who are your audience sino ba ito iba't ibang different walks of life different um uh, Uh, tawag dito, kung ano man yung meron sila sa kanilang pamumuhay, hindi mo alam, you don't really know your audience. You start strongly, building a rapport. Ibigay mo kung ano yung mga uh, kinakailangan. And then, um, yung, yung part na ito kasi, you have to start the, try to get the, the from the seven structure, kumuha ka doon kung ano yung mas maganda. From the very beginning, catch the attention. Diba? Bigyan mo agad yung matinding uh, title ng palawas na ang present mo. Ano yun? Ano ba ito? Ganyan. Anong meron dun? Ano yan? Ano yun? Ano meron dun? Parang ganun. And then, pasukin mo agad siya. That means, dun pa lang, isimula ka pa lang, oh my God, nasa yun agad yung attention ng tao. And then, remember the 10, 20, 30 rule for slideshow. Sino po ang aware dito about that? Siguro, may mga iba sa atin dito na aware about to sa 1020 rule slide. So, ito po yan, di ba? Sabi nila kasi, uh, kapag gumagawa tayo ng mga presentations, contain no more than, no more than 10 slides. Depende naman. Ako naman kasi, depende yan kung anong klase ipipresent mo. Or depende yan kung anong, kung anong yung data or report na ibibigay mo sa audience mo. So, pero, it is, this is the ideal presentation using the slideshow or the PowerPoint with the 1020 rules. Yung, Uh, contain 10 slides, yung, alam niyo 10 slides, diba? 1, 2, 3, hanggang 10 slides lang siya. And then the last, no more tw than 20 minutes, magpapresent ka, 20 minutes lang. So, depende po yan doon sa, sa topic, depende doon sa report. Kaya sabi ko sa iyo, uh, depende po yan. Sabi ko nga rin, eh, this is the ideal uh, rules ng, ng ano, ng slideshow. Hala to. Okay, and number three is yung 30. Ano ba yung sinasabi natin 30? That means use the font of no less than 30. Yung, yung font, yung laki ng, yung laki ng mga letters, <clears throat> kailangan gano'n ba? Masyadong malaki. Where, kung gusto mo lang naman na ipakita yung bold na ganyan, na presentation, so wag ganun, ganun dapat. Kailangan uh, less than 30 point lang ang dapat mong gamitin. Kasi, uh, yun yung pinaka-ideal, as the ideal, uh, me, siguro sa so two hours discussion and then we have a lot of topics, siguro, di ba, minsan two hours not enough. But it depends on on the on the criteria and depends on the title of your story. Di ba? And the last one, of course, as a general rules, as a general rules, those slides should be the slides to the presenter a good set of slides should be no use without the presenter and they should definitely contain less rather than more information ex expressed simply. So ngayon, kapag ito yung ideal um, slide shows mo na gagamitin 10-20-30, <clears throat> kailangan mag-stick ka doon sa pinakang core ng presentation mo, pinaka point ng gusto mo iparating. Hindi yung mas marami pa yung ah, uh, em, er, ah, uh, because, ah, uh, mas marami pa yung ganun kesa doon sa pinipresent mo. O, di naubos na yung 20 minutes mo, nakaka ah, tapos may kumakamot ka pa, tapos iisipin mo pa yung kasabihin mo. No, you have to maximize the 10, 20, I mean the 20 uh, minutes. Di ba ang sinabi ko sa inyo, uh, 30 minutes yung presentation ng bawat isa by, uh, on your particular dates. So 20 minutes, 30 minutes yun. Kasi kasi, kin kinonsider ko na, inanticipate ko na may mga ganun klaseng factor. And let's now go to the number seven. Ito na naman tayo, tell the stories. Di ba? Yan yung pinaka-effective. Pinaka-common and the mutual presentation talaga is to tell the stories. And <clears throat> use your voice effectively. Now, ito, um, mapapaos na yata ako, di ba? Pero kailangan, diyempre, um, use your voice. Kailangan meron tayong tinatawag na 
the power, yung iba't ibang klase ng voice. May dahil tinawag na vocal variety. Parang, <laughs> uh, saan yung pwede yung pitch, yung high note, low, uh, low note, mga tipong ganyan. Tapos, gagawin, gaga, gagamit ka ng vocal variety. Di ba, sabi nila, may drama effect. O, oh, mag-change ka, oh, natakot siya dumati sa mga tipong mga sounds effect. Yun yung mga drama style ng structure ng, ng, ano, ng presentation. So, use your voice effectively. Now, it depends on the audience. Di ba, sabi ko nga sa inyo, kailangan with clarity. Yung vocal variety mo, may clarity ka. Tapos, yung uh, persuasive, mga tipong ganyan. And you know, human beings are programmed to respond to stories kasi nga doon sila mas malimit nakaka-relate sa mga kikwento ng mga story to. Di, yung mga kwentong barbero, di ba? Tapos hindi naman pala totoo. Hmm. May masabi lang, may may lang. May masabi lang, di ba? Dahil sabi nila kasi dito, stories help us to pay the attention. Kapag nagkwento ka na ng buhay ni iba, anong buhay mo about sa'yo, wag yung buhay ng iba ha. Kasi baka mapagawa lang chismosa ka. So kapag kwento ka na ng buhay na ng buhay nang nangyari sa iyo, nakaka attention 'yun. Kasi nga maybe magbigay sila ng magkaroon ng lesson learn and magkaroon ng inspiration. Think about what story you are trying to tell to your audience and create your presentation to tell it. Diba? So kailangan ganun tayo. Kailangan you know how you need to find the story behind your presentation para mas maging lively buhay at kapanipaniwala kahit may drama. Now, use your body too. Use your body language effectively. <clears throat> Tapos, sabi nga dito nga daw is use your body too. It has been estimated that more than three quarters of communication is non-verbal. Do you believe on that? Kasi, the way you act, the way you talk, the way you your gestures, dun pa lang eh, malalaman agad yung story mo, who you are, kung ano yung gusto mo i-portray. Diba? May mga presentation tayo na parang mas more on gestures, kaya lang limit the gesture. Baka mamaya nanginginig ka lang, kaya galaw ka lang galaw, ganun yung kamay, ganun yung kamay, eh, hindi naman, dapat yan, may mga proper Uh, gestures, limit ng gestures lang tayo. Hindi tayo lagi galaw ng galaw, tayo ng tayo, uh, lakad ng lakad, tapos yung audience mo, uh, nahihilo, nakakalakad mo, magulo na yung bibig mo, tapos yung kamay mo, galaw ng galaw. So, tipong ganun. So, you have to, you know, you know how to use your body language. Okay? And finally, finally, sabi nila dito, using your <coughs> Use your body too. That means that as well as your tone of your voice, your body language is crucial to getting your message across. Make sure that you are given the right messages. Body language to avoid includes cross arms, hands held behind your back and on your pocket and facing the stage. So, magaling tayo ng ano, ng tawag dito, excessive excessive movements na tinatawag. Hindi yung masyadong magalaw. Sobrang galaw, sobrang kuda, sobrang galaw ng, ng paa, ikot ng ikot, lakad ng lakad. Eh, nagpe-present ka, lakad ka ng lakad. Tapos yung projector, tumatawa pa sa katawan mo. Tapos nag interrupt yun sa mga audience kasi yung shadow mo pag dumaan ka sa projector, dadaanan. Katulad yung kamay ko yan, dumaan sa screen ninyo. Hindi pong ganyan. So, kailangan Avoid the excessive usage of your body language. Dapat in a proper way. Hindi yung galaw ka ng galaw. Anyway, ako ba? Depende po yan sa galaw. <laughs> okay, and the last one is, ito na po yung sinasabi natin. From the first, from the beginning na sinabi ko, you have to establish yourself. You need to relax. Take a deep breath. Tapos, look at your audience. You smile. mag smile ka. And then, Isipin mo, kaya mo to kaya mo i-present yung inyong napakagandang presentation. And now, that are the uh, how you can make a good presentation even more effective. And hopefully, ma-apply niya po siya. But, you know, iba't iba po tayo ng perspective pa na ginagalawan. So, hopefully, maayos niya yan. Okay po, naintindihan po yung presentation. Yeah, hey, natulog na po sila. Naintindihan po. 
Opo po. Opo. Aha. Naintindihan ba? Bakit wala yung iba? Okay. Next. Let's now proceed to our second topic, the last topic, before, bago ko ibigay yung aking uh, activity. I think, ano to? Pangalawa, uh, la, da, ano to? Second to the last activity na. Now, generating reports. Ah, so mag-generate ba ako ng report? Wait lang. Ah, may report ako dito na. Siguro yun. Now, nakikita yung um, ano ko, ang um, generating reports, how to run the reports. Diba sa, sa ano natin, sa office, nag-generate tayo ng report. Depende po yan sa database or the system na ginagamit. But usually, hindi ko mag-run tayo ng mga reports. I-generalize ko na lang. Kasi hindi na po lahat tayo nasa office nag-work na at saka yung iba naman po ay hindi uh, nakapag-generate ng reports kung paano. So, very general na lang. Sabi nila kasi, uh, yung pag-generate ng report, importante yan. Di ba yung generating report? So, saan ba nanggagaling yung mga report na i-present ninyo na hindi, not only the presentation, kukuha ka ng mga data. Data. And then you have to do some reports from that data. And then itong generating reports na yung mga files na yan, yung result na yan, ay nanggagaling po yan dito sa generate, report generator. Yan yung pinaka-system na, na kapag niran mo na yung reports, run, run reports, lada pa sa dyan. So dyan po manggagaling yun. And ito naman report generator na to, dyan manggagaling yung resulta. It's either naka-CSV siya, CSV like stands for character uh, separate Uh, or comma separate data or something like uh, tama uh, yung something like that naka pdf, naka word format naka excel so naando na po yan pag nilabas nyo yung report now, ang gagawin mo dyan pag nakuha mo na yung report doon nakapag-generate ka ng report, mag structure ka na ng report to present, yun yun nakuha mo na yung idea, nakuha mo na information ito yung mga data mag-labeling ka na, gagawa ka ng trap gagawa ka ng storyboard i-rap-drap mo na siya. Ito, ta, 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 Yan. Sa every single detail, naka-rap-drap na siya. Kasi, meron ka ng report. Dito nang galing yung report ninyo, di ba? And, sabi nila, using a valid available report generator ensures a clean and consistent availability of information and eliminates the needs to manually create the reports. Kasi, meron tayong tinatawag na system. Yung system na ito, naan dyan po yung yung tinatawag natin na na pagalaba. Tapos, report generation eliminates the need for manually creating a report kasi meron tayong system. Kapag niran mo siya, lalabas na siya doon. And then, mag eliminate yan or hindi ka makakuha ng mali or mga error. Kasi nga, bago mo siya na-generate doon sa report generator, um, lahat ng data ang pinasok mo is tama naman o baga parang kumukuha ka na lang doon ng mga ibang information. Anong information na, na i-report mo. And then, if this generator uses a tool that requires defining the report, including the type of data to retrieve, the location, the time, and the method displaying on it. So, very detailed siya. But, di po tayo manual ha. I'm talking about the system. But, meron tayo mga ibang companies pa yata or establishment, especially mga low establishment na gumagamit pa ng manual Uh, reporting. This allows you to run the report with the report processor, extracting the information with a given report definition and combining them with a report relay, layout to produce the report. So from that generator, dun siya manggagaling. And the reports can be previewed in the report generator tool and it published to the report server for sharing to our administration in the future. So, ibig sabihin niyan, lahat ng data, regardless kung ano man yung nalumabas sa system na andun yan, inilabas mo lang. Ilalagay mo lang doon kung anong time ang gusto mong ilabas na report. Ano yung date na kailangan mo, required date, required information, who are the approvals, sino yung mga uh, uh, tawag dito na pinaka-importante na na information na gusto mong i-present. Hindi lahat. Of course, the entire company na andun lahat yung sa server. Pero that's because using that system, syempre, in a particular manner, in a particular way ka lang kukuha ng, uh, ng report mo. Ito yung report generator na tinatawag, sabi niya, ay 
it is a part of the computer program that allows you to directly retrieve all the data na kung ano yung gusto mo doon sa database, spreadsheet, mga tipong CSP, ah, I forgot. CSP is uh, comma separated, uh, I forgot, validation, I don't know. I will double check. Pero it's all about, ano yan eh, yung, yung part kasi ng CSV, yan yung, for example, yung descriptions na item. Yung mga descriptions na andun yung kung ano name, kung ano yung mga data na andun yan. Tapos, um, yung mga specific na, na information na, na, na i-generate mo, doon lalabas. Depende po kung anong format, ha? Kung PDF siya, Excel, or something. Now, meron din tayong tinatawag na ito yung storage or the stores and organizes all assessment reports for quick access. Itong report generator na ito, you can view, save, and print any report. Sabi ko nga, any report, but in a particular. Wala ka naman i-report mo yung buong report ng kumpanya. Di ba? Wala naman po tayo dun sa tinatawag na ano. Um, katawag dito yung mga fiscal year, yung mga finances, depende. So, depende po yan kung ano yung particular report nyo. And company have used Excel for generating report, di ba? Mostly nang na, nag-generate, pag, pag dinadownload na nila yung na-generate lang report, lalabas doon, Excel, usually Excel sheet, kasi depende yan kung ano po yung nilagay nila. And uh, what is the generator report? Diba sila ngayon, yan yung computer program na, na inaalaw sila na ibigay yung information. And yung generator na yan, it includes supporting and retrieving data from various data sources and combining them and exporting printing reports through CSV, PDF, Excel, and images or it depends on the format. So kung meron po tayong system sa company, like yung sa amin, meron kaming Oracle, meron kaming subsystem, meron kaming ano, so doon lang, depende po yan sa access. Yung homepage, depende po yan sa inyong kumpanya. You can make the, your standard report by setting specific criteria of who you would like to report on. For example, ang report mo ay sa HR, di kaya sa, sa procurement, di kaya sa finance, doon lang po natin kukunin yun. It depends nga po yan doon sa criteria or in a specific criteria with the report generators, okay? The full automation generation uses the tools. So, meron siya ng full automation kung paano mo siya i-retrieve. And I'm talking about dun sa presentation nga pala, na sabi ko nga, depende kung mag-report ka ng mga data or, or regarding sa, ano, sa department mo. Uh, that relevant naman doon kasi nga, uh, kukuha ka ng report dun sa generator, ipipresent mo yon Hindi mo siya ipipresent na galing mismo doon sa report generator. Ha? Siyempre, gagawa ka nga ng structure. Ipipilt mo doon, magbibilt ka doon, gagawa ka ng mga tatlong style, limang slides. Ito lang yun. Hindi yung, ang nag-retrieve itong papel, o ito na po yung report. Hindi ganun. Kailangan mo yung presentation. Okay? And our topic, uh, by the way, bago tayo mag-proceed sa ating sa ating uh, activity, wait, ay may question po ako. Yeah, hey, pwede pong paki-open uh, ng ano, may, ng ano ninyo lahat. Saan na yun? Ayan, nasa na iba? Okay po. Um, ready na po ba lahat para sa presentation? Naintindihan po ba yung ating ano, discussion today? Oo. Oh. Ano sa? Oh. So, naintindihan na po. Sir. Alam nyo na po na hindi na po kayo manginginig, mag-shake po nag-report? Medyo. <laughs> uh, kaya, alam nyo na po yung mga structure na pwede pong gawin. For example, ah, uh, Mayroon ka na idea kung paano mo sisimulan, gagawa ka ng rap trap, gagawa ka ng idea. So alam na po natin yun, di ba? Di ba, Wilmar? Hindi na ka bukas siya kasi dayan. O, katulad din. Trying our best po, sir. Okay. O, katulad ni Wilmar, tsaka ni ano, tatulog na yata si Jade, si Wilmar. Dito pa ako. <laughs> Okay, so, yun na po, yun na ang gagawin natin. Ito yung assignment natin. 
din. Um, i-share ko lang sa inyo yung ating uh, assignment. Ay, God, bakit ganito? Share the screen. Okay. So, sabi ko po dito, ay, meron tayong tinatawag na Activity 7 po natin. Uh, ito po yung gagawin natin. Bibigay ko na po sa inyo yung pag ko sa inyo sa email, individual email po yung gagawin ko. O hindi, uh, lahat na sa email, ibibigay ko na po yung PowerPoint slide. Kayo na po bahala magdagdag doon or basta yun yung pinakang gusto kong malaman. Uh, sa lahat na natutunan natin, pinag-aralan natin nung week one about orientation office. Hindi po kayo dyan ang topic na gusto nyo nyo discuss sa practice. Pipili po kayo dyan ang topic kung ano yung gusto nyo i-present doon sa inyong slide. Tapos ngayon, alimbawa gusto mag-present about the hotel and destination. So gagawa yan ang title ng inyong presentation. Tapos ito ang mga types. Kapat ang font type natin ay kalibre, naka 12 side, double space. Yung margin, depende po yan sa margin niyo sa slideshow. Pero it's free, bahala po kayo dyan. Mamili po kayo ng topic. Ayaw kasi kang kayo i-pressure, bigyan ko kayo ng, alimbawa, oh, mag-present ka about the uh, meeting, ano yung mga meeting, ano yung mga purpose, ano yung mga structure, ano yung mga dapat gawin, di ba? Uh, gagawa, kayo po ang mamimili. Kaya ang maganda niyaan, kapag sinubmit niyo po sa akin, individual po yung pag-submit, ngayong October 30, tapos, wag niyo muna isisi si BP, kasi i-check ko pa siya, kasi ayoko mag-present kayo, sa time na mag-present kayo na na medyo may ano pa, may konting struggle. So at least, ma-review ko na kung ano yung present ninyo. Kasi ang nakapaloob doon sa ating presentation ninyo ay yung BPN. May dalawa akong member. Yung member, yung isang member po, isang BOD, uh, professor siya, si Sir Mr. Hans. Uh, actually, siya yung mentor ko during my, yung nag-present ako doon, nung nag-take ako ng, ano, ng CPT sa, ano, tapos ngayon, nag, doon ako sa university nila nag, ano, nag, Nag-ano, nag-present. Nag-ano ng presentation. Okay, ito na po yung share ko sa inyo yung tawag dito. Isishare ko sa inyo yung uh, slide. Activity number Activity 6. Wait lang. Titignan ko lang siya. Nasaan yung presentation ko? Wait lang. Wala nating kumakita siya. Wait lang muna. Ah, ito na pala. Yung number seven. So, ito yung activity number seven natin. Open ko lang siya. Share ko sa inyo. Yung tapos ko na kaya ito. Ayan, nakikita niyo po yung screen ko. Nakikita po? Yeah, huh? nakikita nila. So, ito yung uh, screen, ito yung mga slides. Parang ganito, uh, yung project ninyo, anong title ng pa-present ninyo. From, uh, from nung nakalipas ating discussion, mamili kayo ng title ninyo doon. So, siguro may mga idea na kayo nakita from the previous presentation. So, ganito, ganyan. Ito yung umpisa ng first slide ko. I think, ano lang ito yata? 12 slides lang or 10 slides lang? 10 lang ata. Tapos, discuss niya yung pinaka-prod na nalagay ko na. Ganyan yung pangalan niya kung anong date kayong magpapresent. Tapos, ito yung second. Uh, ito yung second slide. 
nakita niyo po diba for the completion of the requirements ng cluster course kasi hindi baka hindi makakuha ng ibang baka hindi makakuha ng iba yung certificate of completion ng office admin sa Comsapil kapag hindi niyo ako binigyan ng ganitong klase kasi ipipresent ko sa kanila yan. And anong title ng project? Kaliba title ninyo is a meeting o di kaya hotel booking o policy and procedure ng company at depende po yan. Bahala po kayo kung anong gusto niyo And then, i-recommend ko kayo. Ayan yung tinatawag natin na oral examination or PCS. So, yan yung tinatawag natin oral examination. Ibig sabihin, we present kayo oral. Di ba? You have to speak up. You have to ano. Then, ito po yung mangyayari. Ayan yan. Diyan na kung chairman, ganyan. Dito ganyan. Anong date. Isa na kami, papapirmahan ko yan. Mayroon na akong dalawang member. So, mayroon tayong audience na tatlo or apat. Yung mga nasa Riyad, uh, yung mga klase niyo, audience niyo. Kaya yung mga nasa Riyad, nasa, doon tayo, panoodin natin kung sino yung magpapresent ng first, yung presenter natin. So, ready para. Mas maganda, mas, mas maganda yung mga huli magpapresent kasi may idea na sila from, ano, from sa yung mga nga mauuna. Tapos yung mga nasa online, bibigyan namin kayo ng access para may share niyo yung screen. Okay, uh, Diane, uh, Russell, uh, bibigyan namin kayo ng ganyan. Tapos, alimbawa, yung first, yung second, third slide niya, yung acknowledgement na ano yung sino gusto mong pasalamatan dyan sa, sa presentation mo dahil may mga tumulong pa sa iyo na magbigay ng mga information, ng mga data, ng mga, mga resources, mga sources of information, i-acknowledge. Tapos yung table of contents, tapos yung purpose and description ng inyong presentation, ano ba yung purpose niyan, bakit nila may present, ano for you, Uh, you want to inform ba yung mga tao? You want to present yung mga tipong gano'n? Anong purpose ng inyong presentation? Bakit kailangan namin malaman yung presentation mo? Anong description? Then, yung significance ng study mo, bakit ito ang gusto mo i-present? Then, discussion yun na wala na. Then, wala na tayo. Yan lang yun. Nakita po ba? Okay. This is the summary of your, of your um, course, master course. Okay po. Ang tanong, so isasend ko po sa inyo ito, sa inyong email, tapos i-forward nyo muna po sa akin by October 30 para ma-review ko po siya ng mga 3 days. Na ibabato ko sa inyo yung final, then study nyo na po yung inyong outline. And pag na-study nyo na po yan, malalaman nyo na kung ano gagawin. So ito nga yung senior ko sa inyo, di ba? Um, fill the slides uh, ng PowerPoint and submit on before October 30 sa email ko, huwag nyo muna i-copy si BP Ed kasi hindi pa naman final yung presentation nyo. So siguro uh, sa sunod na lang pag na final na kasi for review pa naman yun. And ayan, para atas makakuha din kayo ng mga ibang info. Clear po tayo? Naintindihan po? Apo. Eh, ang bait ng mga estudyante na intindihan nila. So, isishare ko ulit sa inyo. Lagi naman ako nagsishare ng... Oh, ano. Hmm. So, ano yan na? Hindi naman, hindi naman ganun kadami. Basta at least may mga bullet points naman kayo na pwedeng gamitin. Siyempre, use, uh, use your ideal, ideal uh, rules. 10, 20, 30. Okay? Yung 20 minutes lang, o maximum 30 minutes lang kasi kayo. Yung mga bullets ninyo, then 10 slides. Ilan ba yung slides to? 11, kasama yung thank you. 11 slides lang yan, no? Kasi, ang pipilapan nyo lang dyan, yung 4 hanggang 10, wala na. Tapos, kung yung mga pictures kayo na gusto ilagay, yun, i-acknowledge. Nap napapansin nyo po sa mga presentation ko sa inyo, lagi po akong nagbibigay ng courtesy doon sa aking source kasi uh, irespeto naman natin yung idea nila. Kasi ako katulad ko, bibigay lang din ako sa inyo. Para mga teacher, meron sila mga textbook from the original source na andun, i-discuss na ng mga teacher yun, di ba? Pero ang mga original, may mga writer talaga. Parang ako naman, kapag nakakuha ako ng information, dahil ko nilagay sa baba ng, ng presentation ko yung courtesy of, courtesy to, ganyan. Kasi we need to respect, kasi hindi naman, hindi naman tayo yan ni eh senior mo lang, pero you have to give, you have to respect their ideas then. Kaya meron tayong tinatawag dyan na reference o yung tinatawag natin na APA um, 
kalimutan ko yung American standard ng mga appendices. Okay. Yan. Masaya na lahat. Any question pa po? Tapos ano? Uh, pwede na po tayong uh, magtanong o ano man. Sir, tanong lang po. Ay, si, si Russell ba yun? Apo, sir. Ano po? Takot ako. Yung presentation po ba na isesend po po sa amin, pagka-fill up po namin, ano po, gawa po lahat po yung fill up. Pagka na-check mo na po, tas okay po yung yung presentation na yun, ayun na po yung gagamitin namin for presentation namin. Pinamus mo yan. Baka ba parang pag nagbigay ka ng mga idea mo, pwede ako mag-share pa, maglagay na input or comments na pwede mong adjust, ganito, ganyan. Siguro magbibigay ako ng ganun mga tips lang naman. Pero o, kapag nakita ko naman na maganda na at well presented na sa board ng Comsofil at saka ng mga kaklase mo, so pwede na yun. Uh, ang sa amin lang naman, usually, syempre, we have to review para hindi naman, para maging maganda naman sa kanila. Okay, Russell. Ano pa po? Okay, si Dayan, Dayan, kamusta ka na? Kamusta? Okay lang po. Ay, kamusta ang, ano dyan, ano, pandemic? <laughs> Parang wala na po. <laughs> wala na, kasi matigas na ulo nila. <laughs> matigas, matigas na po ulit yung ulo ng mga tao. So, kamusta na? Ano naman ang ano? Anong uh, question naman sa presentation? Nakita mo naman, di ba? Stand ko sa inyo yun. May naisip na yung, topic ninyo. Pa yung pinakita niyo po kanina sa PowerPoint, activity pa lang po yun. Part yun na activity, pero na mismo yung project ninyo. Yun na yung presentation ninyo. Ah, okay po. Ayun na rin po yung ipipresent namin. Yes. Okay na po, sir. Tapos... Ikaw po. Sino pa? Ay, si Colvin. Kamusta ka na, Colvin? Ano, naghihintay ako sa iyo, ha? Hello? Hindi kita marinig. Hello, sir. Ano po? Kape lang ng kape. Hintay lang ng kwari. <laughs> yung isip mo lang, i-download mo na lang yun para may kopya naman. Oo nga. Tapos ano, Calvin, gawa ka ng presentation na kailangan ng kailangan ng gawin niya. Ah, subukan mo, sir. Huwag mong subukan gawin mo kasi kaya ka nag-attend dito para matuto ka. Uh, ah, tapos, tapos, ikaw lang ka. Uh, Emeline, Emeline. Madam. Yes po, sir. Ah, at kahit yun lang, wala ka pang ano, uh, maghirap ka na kaya nalisin na para sa presentation o gawin mo yung presentation, ha? Yung laptop na nalisin okay. ka kung pasundo ka muna dyan. Okay. okay po, sir. Tapos ano na yun, ipagpaas ka na lang ng help sa kanya. Siguro dahil yun sa, okay, po. Yun sa acknowledgement kasi ito nalilin mo sa niya. <laughs> okay po. Okay, ay Ronnie, kamusta ka na? Gusto na, kamusta na buhay-buhay? Ayos naman, sir. Marami naman, ah. marami naman tayong ano. Marami pa tayong pwedeng isuggest? Nag-research din ako, sir, eh, para doon sa slides. Okay. Kasi pili lang kayo ng project ng topic ninyo, ha? Ah, sige po. And this is Miss Aitis. Kamusta na ang ano, laging ano. Laging aktibo sa mga activity. Di ba? Dalawang araw kasapit na. Kasi busy na po sa following week. Uh, following days. Kaya pinapasa na. Ah, kaya inuna mo na siya. Mm -hmm. Okay, ikaw naman. Ano, Wilmar? Kamusta ka na dyan? Ayos lang po. Kamusta na? Ang balita. Vacation po ako ngayon eh. Ah, kaya pala. Very good. At least, di ba, uh, relax na relax ka ngayon. Apo. And, wait. Double check ko lang yung ano nyo, ha? yung schedule ulit. Okay. 
schedule. Ay, ito yung score ninyo nung last, ay, nung last presentation niyo. Si Sandy Mar, wala, hindi ko siya nakita. Okay, ito yung presentation. So, ang una mag-present pala, ay, siya, <laughs> madam, ikaw pala una, congratulations! Ang, uh, ang gagawin natin, uh, ang gagawin natin kay, ano, kay, you know, na, kay Itis, kay Rupani, Teka lang, sino ba itong nag-emotion? Okay. Ang gagawin natin dito, yung apat, si Ronnie, si Wilmar, mag magbubulutan tayo. Siguro mga 15 minutes before the presentation, mga 9.15, magbulutan tayo kung sino mauna. Kasi ang nakaya dito is uh, schedule lang. So hindi ko alam sino mauna. So ang gagawin natin, mag-draw mag lots tayo, ha? Iris, Jay. It's first, no, sir. <laughs> Basta mag-draw lots tayo, parang fair. Agil ba kayo mag-draw lots? Sino una? Ikaw, Ms. Amateurs. Basta mag-draw lots tayo. Sa apat. Ano pa yung pan na yan? Oo, draw lots na tayo ito. 15 minutes before the presentation. Pero make sure dala nyo ng USB nyo ha. Kasi sa Comsofil, may libre silang, mayroon doon laptop at projector. Okay. Don't worry, ang audience nyo lang, tayo-tayo lang doon mga kaklase nyo at saka uh, apat na, ano, na, na panel. Okay, and itong sa susunod, uh, November 13, ikaw na dito, Diane, Emeline, si Marcelina, medyo may problema siya ngayon dahil yung kanyang case doon sa aso. Pero, ah, dala, may, may dala siyang, ano, may dala siyang, um, Ano ba yun? Animals papunta Pilipinas. Hinold sa so, hinold ng immigration. Nagkakasuhan sila ngayon. <laughs> Kaya hindi siya nakaka-attend. Sabi ko, okay, sunod. Tapos si Russell at saka itong si Shirley, mag-ano mag tayo, um, mag mabibigay ko sa inyo kung sinong una. Okay? Hindi naman kayo makakapag-draw lots dahil nasa online kayo. Nasa Pilipinas. Nasa Pilipinas kasi yung iba, at saka iba nasa Gasim. Emily, nasa Gasim ka ba? O Burayda ba yun? Tapos, yung November 20 naman, draw lots ulit. Okay? That's, uh, that's all for this. Magandang araw ulit sa inyong lahat. Yes, Burayda Gasim po, sir. Oh, sa Burayda. See? May sujan din sa Burayda. Now, um, Layo. Okay lang yan para sa future. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, yun, magandang um, happy weekend ulit. And makita-kita tayo ulit for the next uh, discussion. Hopefully, may tutunan po kayo sa pag sa ating topic today. At magkaroon kayo ng courage sa presentation, ha? Relax lang, chill lang. Lahat po tayo, hindi naman tayo perfecto. But at least, apply nyo yung mga ano, yung steps. Tapos itong video na to, nandun ulit sa ano natin, sa page. And isan ko ulit sa inyo ngayon yung discussion today. Okay? And magandang umaga and magandang hapon sa Pilipinas. Bye-bye po. Ingat po tayo lang. Bye-bye po. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Makikita kita po. Pulit.